Alright everybody, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel. Today I'm going to show you how to mine a cryptocurrency for less than $100 all in. So, by doing it, the way to do this, I'm going to mine on a Raspberry Pi. It is a miniature computer. It is about the size of your palm, of your hand. It's very small, and there is actually a cryptocurrency that is designed to mine on it. I am going to mine what's called Duino coin because it is a Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. They're in the same family of tiny computers. And there's also several other coins that we can mine on them. So I did order several of these Raspberry Pis. And we are going to start mining um, Duino coin first. So this is the first video in the series. And to get started here, we are going to download this Raspberry Pi uh, operating system imager. So I already have it downloaded. Here it is. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is choose the operating system. So I'm going to go Raspberry Pi OS Other and I want to go Raspberry Pi OS Lite. And the reason I want to go Lite is because I don't want to have very much on this Raspberry Pi because I'm trying to mine with it. So we're going to leave that and we're going to hit right here and we're going to hit yes. And there we go. We are now writing to my little mSATA drive which is going to be mounted below the Raspberry Pi and as soon as this is done I will mount it into the Raspberry Pi and we'll get the Raspberry Pi booted and start the commands over there alright so I have just plugged in the Raspberry Pi and this is the screen as it's gonna start booting up so here we go it's re resized the root file system is rebooting in five seconds now we get a rainbow screen again and it should reboot here in just a second. There we go. And it's now booting into the operating system. So this is going to take a second. It's going to reboot a couple of times. Don't be too concerned by that. Eventually it should ask you uh, for a login. So the login to all the Raspberry Pis default. Here it is. It's asking me for the login. It's going to be PI. P -I. The password is R A S P B E R R Y Raspberry. Enter. And we have now logged in. So now we need to start running our commands. So let me take you off that screen and we'll bring you back over here. And it says Duino Coin to get started right here. And I'll leave a link on this website down below. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. And it actually says right here we're going to mine with. Uh, your your computer CPU, so you can do this on your CPU if you'd like. You can mine with an Arduino, which is a type of Raspberry Pi. You can mine with an actual Raspberry Pi, or you can mine with these other two, uh, internet browser or an ESP, which is a little tiny um, type of Raspberry Pi board. It's made by the same company, at least. Uh, today, I have Raspberry Pis. We're going to click there, and it's going to tell us Raspberry Pi boards are also a great choice for mining. They can run headlessly. Headlessly means that there's no monitor. Today I'm using a monitor to show you guys, but you don't have to have a monitor connected to this. You can remotely access it in Shell, SSH, and you can run all these commands. Today I do have a mouse and keyboard attached to it, just to make it easier for me to run and uh, record this for you guys. So They don't use a lot of power, and the computing itself is quite powerful. We assume you are a Raspbian or another Debian-based distro on your Raspberry. So what they're saying is uh, that Raspberry Pi OS Lite that I just installed, that's what they're referring to. So after you have that, you can get into your terminal. That's what we just showed. And we're going to need to run these commands right here. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade dash y. And then we will go back over to the Raspberry Pi. So here we are. I'm going to start typing in these commands. So sudo I'll go sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade dash y and then the pound sign. Now the pound sign on this keyboard was actually the backslash button. Shift plus three creates this little weird uh, L, like a um, money sign for Europe. That's not gonna work for me. So I did the backslash and I got a pound sign. Now let's finish this up. Update, de dependencies, and you need to really pay attention 
when you type all this stuff in, if you don't do the right uppercase or lowercase in any spot, it won't work properly. It's all got to be what's called syntax, which means it has to be the proper spacing. It has to be the exact right uppercase, lowercase, position. Everything needs to be exactly right or it may not work. So I get a lot of questions about how to do some of this stuff. And a lot of times that I find that it's a syntax error. It's an error in uppercase or lowercase or something like that. And even myself, I already set this up once before I started recording this video. Just to make it more seamless for you guys. And when I did that, I actually typed in my wallet address incorrectly. I put an anonymous, my, my wallet address is anonymous minor. And I put it in as am, am, anonymous minor. So I was waiting for a while and... I was recording and nothing was popping up on the pool and I finally figured it out it's because well I put in my wallet address wrong so make sure you do not mess up your wallet address like I did or you won't get paid for anything and now I'm gonna let this finish updating and we'll come back in just a minute alright so it finished that first command that we ran I also tried to connect it to the Wi-Fi and uh, realized it's not gonna work yet so um, now I ran the sudo apt update again right you can see that in the middle of the screen or in sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade again just to see and it ran it and says it's all done so now we're gonna run on to the next command sudo apt install python 3 python 3 dash pip git backslash for the hashtag install python 3 and git and then we're gonna let this run I don't think this takes very long do you want to continue yes I would like to continue with that because it's asking if it, I want to use additional disk space yes I do want to use additional disk space this I believe only takes a couple of seconds so back to what I was saying again you really want to make sure that you don't type any of this stuff incorrectly or it's not gonna work so uh, syntax is key here for this uh, command line prompt stuff and it's just the main thing there so we'll be back in just a second when this is done all right so it's finished that it's finished downloading python 3 so now we're going to run git clone https colon forward slash forward slash github dot com forward slash revo x here forward slash duino dash coin space hashtag clone the duino dash coin repository okay enter now it's going to clone everything that it finds at that web address and it's going to automatically just download it all that's what the cloning part of it is so it looks like my internet's being a little bit slow right now um, so we'll be back in just a minute when this is done alright so next thing we're going to need to do is make a wallet so we're over here at wallet.dwinocoin this is the web wallet I'm going to use this and we're going to put in all my information. I am a human. There we go. Let's put in motorcycles. Got them. I think that's a motorcycle too. There we go. Yeah, they do believe I'm a human. Now let's create a wallet. Success. And we can log in. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. It looks like it's finished that. Now the next one that we need to run is CD... Duino coin and then we're going to need to do a hashtag enter the Duino coin directory okay so now this is going to actually enter that file and you see how that changed right there and now it says Duino coin that's because we're in that Duino coin file so it's gonna try to access whatever we are in right there so now I wanna try and run Python 3 with PC miner right and look at how I capitalized PC I put an underscore and then I capitalized miner 
and then I'm going to put a period and a PY, no spaces. And then we're going to put a hashtag, and we're going to go launch the official miner and hit enter. There we go. So it says something's not installed. It's going to automatically try and install it. There we go. It's collecting something, it's downloading stuff, and it's going to run some stuff. And this is where, at the end of all this, I messed up. And what I mean by I messed up is it asks you for your wallet address, it asks you for if you want to name your rig and everything. I did all that stuff, but I misspelled my wallet address, so I was watching for it and watching for it and watching for it, and it never showed up because I had the wrong wallet address. And I went into the Discord, and the guy helped me out, and he told me to erase some file and do something. I, I couldn't figure it out. I ended up reflashing the images you guys saw in the beginning of this, event, or this video. I reflashed the entire MSATA drive, it didn't take very long, and now here we are. So this time, like I've been telling you guys, here we go. So enter your username. I put an AM like that. No, no, no. A N O M. There we go. So there, and then a capital M, a 1 N 3 R. There we go. So I had an M at the very beginning over there, and it wasn't showing up, so yeah, don't do that. Now, the intensity, we're going to set mining intensity to 100, just because I have a pretty large cooler on this little guy. Uh, number of threads, we're going to go 4, select the mining difficulty, it says right there for Raspberry Pis, use 1. There we go. Do you want to use a rig identifier? Yes, I do. Desired rig name, we're going to name this Raspberry Pi 4. There we go. And then we're going to set developer donation level 1. That's a traditional recommended as 1. There you go. And there we go. We are off to the races. It's searching for the fastest node to connect to. There we go. It's starting to mine. And we have an accepted share. We have four accepted shares. There we go. So uh, I'm going to let this mine to the pool. And I'll come back when I can show you guys the results. Alright guys, so now we are back, we are tracking the pool here, and as you saw the screen just flashed from about 60 cents to 18 cents, the daily rewards are all over the place right now. I am not really sure how much money I'm going to end up making with this, but even at 18, now it's 21 cents, I mean, um, the miner itself is pulling a solid 730 to 740 kilo hash in the software. Uh, I can show you that real quick. You can see this right here. It's, I mean, it's just pulling in shares. So it's doing really well. Um, I turned up the... Um, I turned up the intensity to 100%. I reset my wallet. And I also changed out the power supply so that we no longer have that uh, lightning bolt at the top right. So now, we're definitely cooking along, we're doing really well, and it's just, again, all over the place. It shows 34 cents now, 22 cents. I mean, it, I have no idea. We'll have to see over a long period of time how much money I'm actually going to make on this. Um, however, the Raspberry Pi, you can find them anywhere from like 50 bucks all the way up to about 80 dollars shipped to your door. So, at any rate, you can definitely find one for less than 100 bucks. So that's what I am going to tell you, is you can start mining in this situation for less than $100. So, I mean, even if it, it's showing right now $0.20, cents, now $0.37, cents, let's, I mean, the average is kind of around $0.20. Cents. So let's say that I'm making $0.20 cents a day, that means five days, I make a dollar. And it was, let's say, 80 bucks. That means 80 times five days it will pay itself off with this uh, Raspberry Pi. So, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't really expect it to pay itself off in a short period of time. One of the things I do think I'm going to do is you can actually wrap some of these coins on here. So if I come down, I believe there's a way to wrap them. Uh, at any rate, you can wrap these tokens and that you're basically tokenizing them and you can store them on your Tron wallet. So that'll probably be in another video. I'll explain how I did it and how I sent my Duino here that I'm mining, right? Because it says right here I'm going to mine 71.4 Duino. So that Duino, I'm going to wrap it into Tron and I'm going to store it on the Tron network on my ledger because I'm actually storing on my Tron on my ledger 
and I'm staking my Tron on my ledger as well and earning interest. So I uh, will show you guys that on another video. Thanks for tuning in today. That's it for the Raspberry Pi mining Duino coin for now. I will do a couple more videos on the Raspberry Pi mining other coins, uh, like for example Raptorium and Monero. So we're going to do a whole little Raspberry Pi video farm or a farm video. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you could like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share this video with other friends. This is a really cool way to get mining. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't know how to get started. And if you can get started with this, it's a very, very low barrier to entry. I mean, pretty much everybody can get one of these Raspberry Pis. I'm sorry if you can't. But this is a very, very cheap way to get into mining and make a little bit of money and passive income. So, without further ado, I will also be sticking a watt meter on it, and I will show that at the end here. And we'll show the power consumption while it's mining. Alright, so thank you very much, guys, and uh, have a good one.